Welcome back to the HP PD29 to 13.8 volt conversion. Revisit number one. Can we find the over voltage protection circuitry? Before we go any further, let's have a look at where the op amps are and where some of the major players are on the board. Because hopefully we might find the answer to the over voltage protection on this side of the board. Because I don't currently want to remove it. Alright, this is the K404 op amp and we're measuring the output on pin 1 at the moment. As you can see 10.7 volts. If I zoom out you can see there's no output but we still have 10 volts and if I turn the output on we're up to 13.8 we still have 10 volts and if I adjust the voltage pot you see the voltage collapses but the 10 volts stays the same that output has nothing to do with the over voltage protection so it will move the voltmeter to the next point we have there 134 millivolts let's turn it on we have we haven't backed it off enough back it off a bit more reset it like 13.7 volts the output voltage on that op amp hasn't changed much and if we up it it's hunting around but it doesn't seem to be being affected much and it doesn't change much when the output dies that dual op amp doesn't seem to do a lot so what I'll do now is I'll move the connection down to that dual op amp and we'll see if that has an effect now this is the second K404 op amp and we're on pin 1 and we've got minus 61 millivolt and we've got an output. Let's wind the output up till it freaks. There we go. It's gone down but we haven't got what I would say was a significant change in that reading when the output over voltage trips in. We look at pin 7 which is the other output. Of the op amp in that capacity in there minus 2.1 give it a tweak output drops off minus two doesn't seem to have a great difference so we'll discount that one right here we're on pin one of a quad amp there quad op amp and we have 2.5 volts Let's raise it up until we trip. We've tripped. Wow, is that a significant voltage? It's not much of a drop. 2.5 volts. And it does start to fall at the right point and we lose about a volt so could that be a coincidence so we'll take a note of that pin one on that IC let's have a look at pin seven what does pin seven do uh, back on are we in 13 1.1 volt I raise the voltage up till it collapses didn't see a significant change there so pin 7 doesn't seem to be doing a lot so let's move on right this is pin 8 of the quad op amp and see 1.8 volts this rise up the voltage till it trips see what it does
slowly going up. Now that has an effect that would we say that's big enough? 1.8. And at the point where it trips, oh, it loses a volt. So it definitely does something at the trip point, but is it the trippy or a tripper? <laughs> However, you want to pronounce it. Is it falling because of this voltage is tripped, or is it tripping the voltage? So that's one and seven, one and eight at the moment that seem to have an effect. Let's go on to pin 14, which is the last op amp in that quad keep dropping these probes and I'm waiting at one point for it to fall on the high voltage and go a big bang All right 2.49 hit the on power up that didn't change when we powered up so let's keep going up again And that hasn't changed, even though we've tripped. So, it's not that. So, there is a quad, amp, quad op amp down this end. But uh, I was wondering if that has anything to do with it. As this side does seem to be isolated more by these opto-isolators from this side. So, I'm going to stop where I am. Post this video as an update to adjusting the uh, voltage of the power supply. Just see if it triggers... Any more any more suggestions as you know, do I do I look at this point do I look down at these op amp yeah, at these uh, opto couplers and there's a brief description at the beginning that shows what these components are and what they you know what they are I can't say exactly what they do they, but the worrying part is there is a lot more circuitry on the other side of this board and the over voltage trip might be on that side I don't know. I might buy another one of these power supplies because I do like this one and I might buy another one so that I can use this one for what I was using it for and dismantle the second one or if the second one sets up okay then I might dismantle this one as it's getting a bit messy where I've been soldering wires onto it anyway so if you like what I'm doing subscribe you know click click on the subscribe icon uh, click on the bell for notifications I'll click the likes because that does help me but you know subscribe the more I subscribers I get, the more YouTube takes notice of me. And the more it takes notice of me, the, uh, the more videos I'll produce, I expect. <laughs> anyway, Happy New Year. Catch you on the next one. Well, that's the quad op amp. And there's pin one that seemed to have the most effect. Pin two and three are the uh, plus and minus inputs for it. So maybe I'll spend the next video, maybe. And uh, we'll have a look around there. If the comments think that the change on pin 1 wasn't worth it, then I won't bother. But uh, I, was, I was hoping to find a much better sort of cut on the output of an op-amp to show the, that it had done something to cause it. But uh, I think pin 7 and pin 8, which is up there, are the ones with the closest to a kind of what looks like a viable change in output as it meets the over-voltage protection trip. So uh, maybe a closer look at what happens around here is in order but uh, I'll leave that for another video as this one was a bit disappointing <laughs>